Hello and welcome to the videos on securitytube.net. In this video, we will be concentrating on CSMA CA or carry and sense multiple access with collision avoidance protocol. This protocol is the basis of IEEE 802.11 carry and sense mechanisms. Firstly, we will see the drawbacks with CSMA CD or carry and sense multiple access with collision detection, which is the most preferred use protocol for Ethernet or IEEE 802.3 suite of products. And after that, we will see how the problems with CSMA CD are addressed with CSMA CA protocol. The next natural question is why not CSMA CD and why to have a separate protocol for wireless like CSMA CA? So, first we will see the limitations of carrier sense multiple access with collision detection protocol which is used in Ethernet. So, in wireless NICs or in wireless network interface cards, they cannot receive while transmitting. So the collision detection becomes an issue. So in 802.3 or in CSMA CD, the network card actually transmit the data, they check whether the collision is happening or not and then they proceed in similar ways. But in wireless, you cannot transmit and receive at the same time. So the collision detection becomes an issue. A full duplex mix are also available but they come with their price tag. So it is not possible to receive and transmit very easily on wireless media. The second limitation is like in wireless domain transmitted packets from one node are not received by all other nodes. So if uh, node A wants to transmit to node B and simultaneously node C also wants to transmit to node B and if node A and node C cannot see each other there is very good chances that at the end of B there will be collision and neither A or neither C cannot help anything with CSMA CD kind of protocol. So with these two limitations we have to modify CSMA, CSMA CD in such a way so that it will fit for the wireless and how these modifications are required first thing that is expected is try to be less greedy on the medium don't grab the medium for large amount of times as well as before grabbing the medium have some protocol if channel is sensed busy before transmission then defer the transmission for random interval and if the channel is seen busy for large amount of times or again and again then increase this random back of time exponentially Okay. Now if channel is free for some amount of time only then transmit the packets. If channel is sense free don't start transmission immediately. Wait for certain amount of time which is called dips and only then start transmission and to, and to be sure that the transmission is happening correctly use some mechanism like positive acts. Okay. So what are the important things which is expected from this modification in CSMA CA? try to be less greedy don't acquire the medium immediately and start transmitting but acquire the medium wait for some time and only then transmit and if medium is sense busy have a random back off okay now 802.11 wireless LAN provides two types of carrier sense methods first is physical carrier sense in physical carrier sense actually file layer or physical layer text part and it uses the basic CSMA CA as the carrier sense. There is also one more method in which the carrier sensing can be done and the prioritization on wireless media can be done which is called virtual carrier sense. The virtual carrier sense thing is provided by the MAC or media access control layer. It is also called as NAV or network allocation vector. NAV maintains the prediction of the future traffic on the medium based on the duration field in wireless packet. Every wireless packet has a duration ID field in it. It's a part of MAC header and the value which is present in this MAC ID field corresponds to the NAV value with some rules and whatever value is present in this NAV value for that much amount of time all other nodes except the node for which packet is transmitted cannot transmit or cannot access the media. So the first was physical carrier sense and second is virtual carrier sense. Physical carrier sense is simple CSMA CA. Now it is very interesting to see how exactly CSMA works. This picture shows the access procedure in DCF mechanism. Now every node has to wait for a DIFS amount of time after finding the medium to be free and before starting the transmission. So here 
some node has found that media is free it has waited for dfs time and after completion of dfs time it has started transmission so the media will be busy in this period dfs is dcf ifs ifs is interframe spacing so in dcf type of transmission the interframe spacing is called dips or difs okay now in this period of time somewhere the, the second node wants to transmit some data but it has sensed that medium is busy so it has deferred its access it will keep on deferring its access until media becomes free once media becomes free it has to wait for again some amount of time now this some amount of time can be sifs pifs or difs depending upon the node and which kind of packet that node needs to be transmitted now what exactly is sips pips and diffs i'll be creating one more video concentrating on this interframe spacing things i'll be explaining more about that but currently just remember these are the these are some time intervals for which every node has to wait before transmission depending upon the type of packet and type of node okay so assume that our node needs to be waited for difs amount of time after media has become free okay so this node has waited till difs time after completion of difs time it will start its random back off window it will be a contention window in this time all all the frames or all the nodes which want to transmit the frames will contend the one which will win the contention race will start transmission say our node wins the contention race at this point of time till this point of time no node has started actual transmission so this our node will start transmission of the next frame and the medium will become busy again now after complete transmission of our current nodes this frame all other nodes will again wait for dfs amount of time and there again this contention window will start there is a small important thing to be noted there is a sips or sifs interval the act or the positive acknowledgement packet is expected after this sips interval so with the help of these dips pips and sips the node can have some prioritized access on the medium for transmission of some kind kind of the packets okay so that's it about this video in this video i have explained the csma ca or carrier sense multiple action access collision avoidance technique which is the part of ieee 802.11 access control methods have a look at other videos on on securitytube.net explaining wired and wireless security Thank you.